She really hates him. It's really true. Okay, whenever you're ready. We're ready. I guess we're ready. I guess we're doing this one more time. Let's try to make it through this. Let's try to be good. <laughs> why did why do you say try to make it through it? I you know it's I, an hour of talking to me. Is it that not hard? an hour? We we haven't done an hour and so well we do an hour once in a while when we're rolling. But rolling. Earth. I thought about this this morning. We've been doing this for 10 years. We have one follower for every year. Why? What the fuck? We That's have to make true. it true. That's have, not true. We have to, what we have to do is reinvent ourselves. Oh, my God. Look, this is, this is what women you. get mad about men for in business is that they come up with the idea, tell the man, the man then tells the idea as his own which is what's happening here i uh, is it happening here no, oh here I, he goes I, with I, the I, I is this new podcast going to be called blowing my nose on camera I oh god my, uh, my nose on camera uh no i if you did bring it up which i'm sure you did which i'm sure i did we just i'm agreeing with you because I don't know, maybe we go into the city and one day a week, one once a month have a guest or two. When we used to have our radio show, it was great. For two years, we had guests, we had calls, we had... Who who, who, who organized it? I'm just curious. Who got us the guests? Oh, we both did. I got us some guests and you got us some. But so, I remember that being the hardest part. Was getting guests? Just having to reach out to people and tell them that, when the come i don't like producing stuff like that i'm a big producer okay then no. yeah you go ahead and i'll but just I'm show saying, up i'll just show up that's actually pretty good you produce it the new podcast and i'll just show up what we do it once a month and i'll be like i didn't know who the guest was look at this this is pretty cool oh boy yeah you do like three or four at a time that way then you just roll them out well, I don't know if we can get the studio that long. I don't know if we could even use that studio. I'm sure. What we Chris's could. studio? No, not Chris's. We use the one above the comedy cellar. No, use Chris's. It's nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but it's easier to get guests to walk up and pop in if you're right above the cellar. That's all. Well, you're across from the stand. Yeah, but I want good guests. Oh my God, <laughs> the stand is the greatest comedy club in. The in the world city maybe the world in the whole in the universe no there's no other comedy clubs in the universe. <clears throat> this comedy like i didn't act all right this one comedy club like my friend worked there so he recommended me right and i followed up with a guy and i called the guy and he was already talking down to me like hey how many followers you have this and that and i'm like i do pretty well you know i've been doing it a long time whatever uh you know, it was in a casino in Carson City, mm -hmm. uh, Las Vegas, which is outside of Reno. Anyhow, so I emailed him my stuff, you know, sent him bio or head, whatever, you know, my yeah. website. Yeah. And I didn't I hear I have no him. idea where the story is going, well, but so far it's B-O-R-I-N-G. <sighs> See, this is what gets me mad. <laughs> okay, just this is what keep gets going. me mad when I'm telling I'll the story. Tell the Do story. I cut you off in the middle of your okay, story so go right, it's boring? I'm sorry, I'm when sorry. I'm setting up the story, <laughs> okay. I'm setting it up. All right, all right. You're setting it up. Okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. So I just yours. I emailed him the other day just to hey, I'll be in Vegas in October. If you're in the area. Da, da, da. He writes back. I said First, and I, he writes back, FYI. Do you know what that means? Yeah, for your information. Yeah. I live in Reno and work in Carson City. Okay, oh. I knew that. Then I write back, if you're in the area, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. He writes back, I live 500 miles away from there. And I let it go, but I wanted to write, hey, you fucking asshole. I said, if you're in the area. 
I don't know. I didn't say where you live. I'm not fucking Google Maps. Well, I don't and understand. I, Wait, he booked you. No, he didn't club. book me. He didn't book you. Where were you saying to meet him? I don't. I get said that if you're in Vegas, I'll be in Vegas. Oh. But he lives in Carson City. So he's like 500 miles away. But all I just say if you're. So you yeah. so he'd say yeah probably not I live in Carson. Yeah. Instead he had to be a dick about it. Yeah, for your information I live. Then for your infor- I live and I wanted to write back, you know. You fucking asshole. I said, if you're in the area, if you're in the area. Right. You know, and I had a million things in my head writing that I would say, you know, maybe you're coming to Vegas. So but you can't a- get mad because that's. Well, I just, I just, I to- just erased his email so I didn't have to look at it. Well, very good. Very good. And, and, and it- but the, th- the truth of it is, is that you don't really know what his mindset was writing that. Like he may be, he sounds like he's a little on the spectrum, to be honest. Like he has to no. let people like. You know, it sounds like, for your information, I don't live there. Yes, well, if you're in the air, well, I won't be. I'm 500 miles away. I know, but I But know. he's not doing it like, look, Dick. Well, he could have been. He, he could have been. Because when I talked to him on the phone, he talked down to me. So I already thought he was an asshole. Oh. Like they talked like like he's booking 40 clubs or the Taj Mahal. Shut the fuck up. You have some shitty room somewhere in Carson City, wherever the fuck that is. You know, 30 flights to get there. Uh, it paid good money, though. Uh oh. You know, I have this guy coming in, that guy, shut up. I'm better than all of them. Don't act like I, I'm some open micer, you know. And I was just saying, if you're in the area, just to let him know I'm still out there. Not to write to him and go, hey, what do you think? Can we say something? Well, you, know, you know, just to plan, you know. You hey. know what gets most people? Like, it's the disrespect. Yeah, that's, that's what, what irritates most people. Yeah, and I thought he disrespected me. Yeah, so then and I let it go though, but I didn't. Right, because I was going to write. Are you a fucking? So our egos get like involved. Well, I mean, don't treat me like I'm. Some I agree. Open, like yeah. a new comic, you know. Right. You know. But you. But really, the truth is, you shouldn't care what he thinks about. Yeah, I you. don't. That's why I erased it. You know, I go fuck it. <laughs> well, you did because you got mad. I got yes. In the beginning, <clears throat> you get mad, and then you think before you react and write some fucking dumb email or horrible i mean i mean i i could have been really vicious you know but where would that have gotten you would that have uh, made you feel better or then you would have started to well feel i would have burnt at some bridge. point i probably would that. i said that's not sober behavior just let it like, go like, and move on like, i let it go and moved on that's what i did i erased his email so right. i didn't have to look at it and think and just keep we going, who the fuck does this guy think he is? But I'm saying you deal. Here's the thing. But he's still living in your head. No, I'm letting it go. I talked about it. and, and it's, But it's Do just. You know, talking about it actually doesn't let it go. Well, yeah, it doesn't. It, it, Talk instead therapy of is actually a scam, everybody. What about punch therapy? Have that ever... works. That does it? That actually really works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. I, don't know what you're referring to probably like you want to punch me in the face right now but i'm not trying to give you therapy so i mean i don't know what uh well, what's that response for i'm just asking i didn't say to you okay you, i didn't know i didn't know you yeah. know uh like punching the yourself is, in the head yeah you know it's not just that it builds up after a certain amount of time you know we have this club or that club owner and it, I was talking about one club owner the other day at Tim Dillon's party. We can talk about it in a second. And go. I go, this guy's just, I go, does everybody hate him or it's just me? And the other comp goes, oh, no, everybody hates him because some people are just scumbags. And there's comics the same way. They're scumbags that, mm-hmm. you know, it, it can't just be the club owners or agents or bookers or scumbags. I mean, there's just a world full of scumbags mm-hmm. that – don't do the right things or whatever. It's just such narcissists or self-centered or they're not aware or they don't care, whatever. And they're looking out for themselves. Yeah, you know. It's or they just, think that's the way to look out well, for themselves. Well, they don't have any uh, m- morals or, you know, or conscience. I don't think that's true. They, I do. Some like of them. some people don't have morals. I think they think they're doing it for a certain reason, or they're self-protective, or they're, no, they or think they're, they're like helping their family or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. Pe- I, I I don't think people no, I, do there's, things there's just to be mean very often. Well, well, do you think they do? Not to be mean, just to be 
dicks? They're, uh, just, they're, 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 they want to build up their own egos. No, they're whatever. scumbags, and that's their life. They live their life as scumbags. Or do? Do you really think if you said to them, "Are you a scumbag?" They'd be like, "Yeah." And I can I just say no. This? Nobody people. I love it. I love being a scumbag. People aren't self-aware. They're delusional. They're like right. Hey, that's what I'm saying. They're not people, doing it on purpose. People no. People fuck other people in life non-stop and they, they know they think they know. they're doing it for a reason though no and some of them going fuck this person i don't care about them i'm gonna right, take advantage right, of them right some people take advantage of situations of people of you know whatever so and and there's good people bad people there's whatever you know there's whatever people there's the whatever people are the best people because they go whatever you know they don't know they oh whatever so it rolls off their chest. So, there so you have it. you ever? I do been the right addicted things. to somebody knowingly. No, no, uh, no, no. I mean, I fuck around with comics. Do you think other funny. people think that you have? Oh, without a doubt, new comics think I'm a dick, or other comics, because you know my. They don't goal, get your sense of humor. Yeah, my goal is to be funny or get a, you know just be like right. like uh, live. Lev, uh, First. Was, yeah, was texting me yesterday. He's buying golf clubs, and he showed me a picture. He wants to take up golf. I don't know. Uh, and I go, oh, those, that's a good deal, whatever. And he goes, well, I'm going to buy a driver. You know, he was getting a real good deal on the set. And I go, those are good for beginners, that set, which he is a beginner. It's a good. And I said, uh, text me, and I go, now scram or something. Now leave me alone. And also, too, he said, on the phone, he goes, I can get this set for 100 bucks." I go, that's great. That's only six nights of work. Right. He goes, I make more. Than I go, it's a fucking joke, you moron. He's good at taking jokes. Well, he didn't take that one. I'll well, get him because he probably wants people to know that he's doing pretty well now. He's working one other club. I'll call him right now. Okay, he won't oh, be up. He might be up. Let's see. This is our the, our era of getting guests. Yes. We had Bobby Kelly last week. No, we had uh, Jim and Sam. This is exciting. He's not going to answer. He's, he won't answer. There's, there's no possible way he's up at 10 o'clock. He, he texted me about the clubs like at 9 yesterday. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. Wow, he right. probably well, hadn't gone to bed yet. Huh? Probably hadn't gone to bed He'll probably call yet. back. All right, so we went to the big party. Talk about it. Go. What do you got? Well, this is the thing about going somewhere with Rich is we knew it was going to take a long time. So I did plant seeds. What? I didn't get mad at traffic. So don't say I was a nightmare. Do not say it. I was pleasant. I go, oh, my God. Look at one time Belt Park. Where I go, oh my when God, we were this. leaving, the look, I, I said, it's going to take a long time. Let's just enjoy. How many times did I say? Let's enjoy the trip. You know, it's it's going to take a long time. Let's enjoy it. We'll we had good up. conversations. And then, no, no, no. And then I said, we'll have snacks. Well, da, 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 da. I get all these snacks ready to go. He's like, why are you bringing this? Then we get in the car. The first thing you said when we put the GPS on, it's going to take four hours. Yeah, yeah. To Which go it to did take four hours. Three, but I was no, like, it took like three and a half to get there. It was like, and three to get back, I think. And it yeah. was like. Beautiful house. Ridiculous that he could not and you kept bringing it up you would constantly bring up the traffic no i didn't i brought it up one or two times on the you were mark. like <laughs> no i didn't i did not i wouldn't get we mad. couldn't we weren't allowed to listen to my music because he didn't we like did it. listen to god do you exaggerate and lie we did listen to it i just said it's dumb but we listened to your music no then literally I didn't the last it. two and a half hours we listened to nothing because not you wanted true. to charge your phone it's, it wasn't two and a half hours because it took three and a half hours to get there for maybe yes. an hour i charged my phone the last hour or whatever i said because i know what we were 36 miles away from a certain point and i said oh can i charge my phone I didn't say turn off your music. I don't yes, know. Yes, I said, well, I, I even said, go ahead and put music on on your phone. 
and you wouldn't do it. Because your phone thing kept breaking. No. Your, yes. Stop. Every time I picked up my phone, it would cut off. But do not exaggerate and make me look like a bad person because I didn't complain about the traffic going there. I might have said, oh, my God, we're going three and a half hours to a party, you know, or whatever. You I'm going to record crazy. it next time. He doesn't know. He no, doesn't know. He no. really, you, I, I believe that you don't know. I believe you exaggerate a lot. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, next time I'll film it. I was like, if this was being filmed, this would be fucking hilarious that you would be, it's, th- th- that this is you being positive. This, I, this was you being was, positive. I didn't say I was positive, but I wasn't as negative you as were you say. a joy. <laughs> I was pretty much a joy. I was. Okay. And I was uh, I drove uh, just in silence most of the way. <laughs> no, we talked most of the way there. Stop it. Don't exaggerate and make me look like the villain all I the time. I don't have to make you look like anything. You you are you. No, but you see your lenses are, are foggy. They You're are. You're seeing through foggy my, lenses. That's I need, all. I need my lenses cleaned. Yeah, your lenses. And we got to the party. He has a beautiful house, a beautiful piece of property. Uh, there was all different types of people there. There was super rich. There was headliner, M- comics, medium and rich, medium and, rich. and I zero I, money. And you know, and a couple. It was catered. They had valet parking. They, you know, I mean, you know, what it was like watching him walk around his house. It was like some. It was almost like a movie where some blue collar schmuck was left all this money, yes. or, <laughs> like, or you know, came into got or like in you that, think like the cops hit, are going to show up at any yeah. minute and arrest him. Yeah, for like some hit hit crime. lottery, hit the lottery, and he just went out and started buying houses and artwork. I thought his art was very. Good. So did I. I, I, you, the I was like, you should take a. No, it's different. He has modern. His house is decorated as modern. All right. Yeah, My but they're but they're the, real. But it's real art. Some of it is, some of it, some of it was, you know. What? It's not, it, it's real art, but it's not a Rembrandt or a Picasso or a, you know, Van Gogh. Don't <laughs> oh, act like. I'm sorry, we're it's not, not in a castle. Yeah, well, don't, you know, it's it's modern art. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, yours, you could sell every single piece you have for under $100. No, uh, art, art. Like all together. Art and beauty lays in the eyes of the beholder. It's just like, I can look at a picture of mine that maybe cost two hundred dollars and go, I love this, or look at a picture that costs two thousand and go, oh, it doesn't do anything for me. All right. So Isn't uh, it funny? Rich will Rich will never be like, Yeah, yeah. I I, sh- I was thinking when I was looking at it, maybe I should go that direction. No, I don't like modern art. That's Rich not what will I do. Never oh. ever not defend the thing he's already done. Which actually is kind of a good trait to have actually it's like i make I, your choices and then i stand just behind i stand behind my laurels i don't know what that means neither do i but it sounded like i knew what i was talking about i stand behind my convictions right right, right. but but it, it, i don't to like, a degree that it is it does you're not you can't discuss things very easily because you're always coming back to like why you did what you did yeah why i do what i do is because is is the foundation of the reason why you do things i am not a modern i can enjoy it i like well i thought his house was really i thought it was really beautiful. well decorated so did i very but you know what so did i but it was the kind of house he doesn't live in it it's a house you don't live in it's a house because he doesn't live in well it. i'm sure he does but he li- no, but, he's but he's one he's, person but it's you could it's it was too clean too perfect it's nice don't get me wrong i like it i it's liked not a it. home i liked i liked how it was decorated i love the furniture i love the layout so everything it's like about it. airbnb it's it's like a vacation it's like if you were going to a resort or something or the backyard the whole thing was perfect don't get me wrong i liked it but it it it, it didn't have the the feeling of a you know you walked in it was like oh that's new that's new that's new it's like it was put together yeah i thought that that he had hired a decorator for sure yes obviously but i asked him about his art though he said he picked out the art it it's definitely was nice and cool i'm not knocking it but 
it's not like if you walk into our house, you know people live there and it's beat lived well, there. There's a big crack in the <laughs> dining room or the kitchen table. Oh my God, you get a table and they, we got to dispose of the table. We'll, we'll go back to Habitat for Humanity, see if we can. I saw that, that wooden table was nice. The, the one nice one, I'm telling you, with some nice chairs. You can't get them online and have them mailed to you because they're fucking. We had she Bonnie ordered a glass table which looked nice in the beginning, little crack, and now it's cracked all over. So anyhow, we had a great time at the party. We saw a lot of people. Uh, you know, I like sitting around with comics, smashing each other and laughing and talking, and you know, uh, I think I. I might have been a little underdressed, but it was outdoors. Well, thank God, right, that I told you to change your tank top at least. I put on a different tank top. Yeah. Why? What's the difference between white and red? Well, red is just so. You looked. You looked completely like. Well, you knew you were going to a Hamptons party. Like, what did you think it was? I thought it was just be? a bunch of comics sitting around. To tell you the truth, I didn't know. But who cares? It was outdoors by a pool in a hot summer day. So, yeah, I was dressed for Any that. Any chance that he could get to wear a tank top? That's this guy's going to take it. Not only were they tank tops, that he for, he changed from a red one to a white one, exactly the same tank top. They were, I would say, $9 tank tops. Oh, they maybe weren't, not they even. Weren't, yeah, they weren't. They looked like things that you wear to bed. And... <laughs> It was just a tank top. And then very people kept commenting to me about his shorts because his shorts went mid-calf. No, they didn't. They went to my knees. They were cargo. People commented. Oh, yes. Many what did people. they say? They were cargo. They were like, you let them leave with those shorts on? Oh, I like them because they have a lot of pockets. They That's were, why. They were giving um, Big J vibes. Oh, I you know. Big J always wears his shorts like basically they're... Yeah, our listeners know how Big J wears his shorts. Down they might know. He, they're like down to almost down to his ankles. You know, they came to above my knees. They were lo- they were cargo shorts. You couldn't shorts. see your knees. Yeah, you could. Well, when people were pointing them out to me, I was like, oh, I didn't realize they were that short because you were also oh. wearing high top shoes and socks. So there was like about that much skin. <laughs> so there she goes. I look. Hey. And people, I guarantee it was just one person that said, look at his shorts. There was a few people that commented on how you looked to me. I get it. I'm sure people don't say to you, you let her leave the house like that. Wouldn't but I say, get it a lot. Would they say, oh, he went to a pool party in the summer. He went to a pool party. Yeah, he's going to dress appropriately for a pool party in the tank top department. But the jewelry department He's going to act like he's going to, I don't know what you would wear all that jewelry to. But it is incongruous, I would say. So he's wearing, of course, his, I like to call it his cock ring. And all his rings, watch. And then $7 tank top, $6 shorts. (laughs) Probably from Habitat for Humanity. I don't buy clothes. From. Those shorts, and then I love those shorts. I wear, and then the high tops. Yeah, what else? And do you a backwards wear? baseball cap. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> What's right? I dress for a pool party. I don't give a fuck. I'm not <coughs> some. Phony. I love love though that you always like. I mean, this goes back to when we went to buy a vacuum. And I looked over while we were in the store, and you were wearing a tank top. Well, that's that, a different that showed tank your, top. Showed your nipples. Well, that was a different tank. I top. know, but you always go. Oh, it was. Oh, it's hot degrees. out. We're allowed to wear tank tops, but when you go out, you you almost you only ever see the trashiest people in tank tops. You never just see normal people unless they just came from the gym or something you can kind of tell you never see normal people just out regular it's just like he has a nice car okay and he has a um his license plate is in the window of his car in the the front, right front window of his car because okay? i don't want to fuck the grill up the he whole doesn't front of the put- car looks is the grill in the front 
that that if you, so in his mind he thinks it looks better to put your license plate in your front window to the than right. on the front of the car okay doesn't matter where he, i don't think people are thinking you're putting it in front of you okay now i've tried to say to him have you ever seen any other car like this yes he claims he has look at the person driving they're going to look exactly like you backwards ba- in their 50s to 60s backwards baseball cap tank top tattoos okay it's like you're it's like you've been programmed and you can't change the program i i just don't know how a a, a license plate in the front window <laughs> Is a better look than putting it on the grill. Well, go look at the grill. It's a beautiful I don't care grill. about the grill. I would never look at another car's grill. What I would look at is the windshield and be like, why does he have his li- uh, license plate uh, License plate in there? Bizarre. It's not bizarre. Have you ever been to a bazaar? That's where I got my shorts from. By the way. What? One of the things Rich does very, very well. Never fails. Oh, here we go. The distraction method, which you just saw him do. Or heard him do. Saw or heard. Uh, see, he's doing it again. <laughs> he's doing it again. That's how good he is. That's how good he is. Is that he'll distract when you point out the distraction. Oh. Diversion? Is that what you call it? Diverting attention to another subject or topic to move on? And say, yeah, let's talk about oh, words. Oh, you got me again. Overall. Overall, have- take the fucking license plate out of your front window. It's so weird. No. But again, look, I, I don't know. I wish I was. I really wish I was the kind of wife that was like, that's him. You know, but there's a certain level. There's a certain level that you can handle where you're like, well, I mean, he... I was trying to explain to him the other day. It's like if I woke up from a coma and I was like, this is my husband. (laughs) I would have had. I would be like, okay. All the jewelry. Okay. None of it makes sense. You'd have to keep explaining it to me. He'd be like, okay, he's white trash. Okay. I get that. That part. Okay, fine. Okay. I have a white trash husband. But then you're like, no, but he also plays golf. He's bougie. Wait, what? No. And he loves Victorian, you know, 19th century Furniture like, and paintings art. and art. Like, I'd, ha- I'd just be like, what is happening? What's going on? Would you rather come home to a banker that has fucking modern art and wears a tie all day? And- I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rather come home to anyone. Be, be clear on that. I mean, I want to be alone. No, what I mean is you're it for me, okay? But it is, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of me to be like, okay. You don't think it takes a lot? Okay, he's wearing, I mean, this Star of David, it's a lot. It's a lot to to be, you know, because you're not just wearing it because like, oh, I just love it. and it's. I do like it. Okay, right. But you're also wearing it as a symbol of, Come at me, you motherfuckers. No. It no, is. It's an aggressive a, symbol. No, it is not. It is, and you it know that it is. Oh, really? If people wear a big cross, it's saying, hey. Yes. No. No, 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 no. You're wrong about it's, that. It's, it's a symbol that's, yes, it's like wearing a MAGA hat. It's like, do they believe in MAGA? Yes, they do. Oh, so I'm not allowed to believe in my religion? No, 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 no. Th- that's not. oh, see, but that's what MAGA people do. They go, I'm not allowed to no, believe in it. I'm not allowed to wear it. But they know. No, but to, they know that wearing it is going to get them negative attention, and that's, that's the part that they no, like. Well, guess because what? they no. like being part no, of a group that what? they have to defend. This, this is where you're wrong. Yeah, they shouldn't get negative attention. That's the people that are giving but them they negative. Know. Okay, people, right, but they can't the change other people. people. They're the wrong people to to but wear something. Okay, so the if guy that wears, came to your okay, sisters. Okay, so the people that wear those scarves are are, are 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 should I be attack them or go look at that? That's what they believe. That's no, their religion. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. Yes. No, there are. Listen, there are some things that people do when. Let's take sports, okay? Oh, we went through this, yeah. Right? It's easier to understand with sports because you know that if you're wearing, if if you've got a car that's got all these, like, let's say, New York uh, Yankees, 
all over it. You know, there's people that are going to drive by and go, fuck you. Or there's people that are drive by and go, oh, yes. Yes, you're, but you're, you're, you're drawing attention so, to yourself. But anything you do in life, you're going to have positive and, and equal and, and uh, uh, negative reactions. I cannot live my life worrying. If but it's people, not that you're worried about it. It's I'm that not, I'm the not trying to. Is, I'm trying to show the, the that truth right of it now, is, is that you like it. No, you right, like that attention. No, Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. Otherwise, you'd have a very small tasteful no, one that you I would ha a, leave in inside your shirt. Oh, really? Right now, my solidarity is with uh, Israel and the Jewish people. And if this is, just but a, I don't. Everybody know, else but shows their solidarity, right? And you go online, it's. This, that, and all these fucking... It's not everybody. Like, it's the people that you are no, aligning your algorithm with. It's not... That's it, what it's no. giving you because that's what no, you're okay. doing. That's not true, too. It, <coughs> I don't a, get any of it. I, I don't get, get... I get zero of it. I almost I never in. have anything that's pro-Israel or, or pro-Palestine yeah, on my feed because I, I, I don't into, engage in it. If I walk into a store, it's not my algorithm. Algorithm, I'll see the headline on the poster, the New York Times, uh, seven out of ten times is. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not. I, that's the thing. My own brain is not aligned to it. So my I own brain isn't I see it. seeing it. Right. Okay. I'm just saying. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm just saying I that. I like it. I'm, I'm going to wear it for whatever but, reason. Okay. But the, you like it. You wear it. You like the attention that no. it brings to you. Yes, you do. I like the awareness, too. Okay, yeah. Okay, do because there's people that already are pro-Israel. You're not changing any minds or doing anything different. They come up to you and they go, I like your necklace. Yeah, many times. Many times. At the party, like three Many or four times, years. right. So you like that attention. Now, they'd still be aligned with the same things you're aligned with, whether you were wearing that or not. Whatever. But you're, well, getting, I, the, you're getting the outward attention. I'm getting... I'm whatever it's, it's just it, admit it I'm, I'm not saying it's good or bad i'm just saying you're saying is, you're basically saying it's bad you're saying that's no i'm not i'm saying you okay this is you like a certain kind of attention and you get it right get that's attention. why when you go out you do certain things or you behave certain ways because you like that kind of attention I like positive attention. Why do you think we do comedy? I don't want to go up there and want them to all hate me. I, but you positive. don't mind if they do. I, I don't you want do, the whole you, crowd to hate me. No, of course not. But if somebody's irritating you, you have no problem going in there and and and, and, and smashing and, and smashing them. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't look for that. I and if the that. rest of the audience doesn't like that you're smashing them, then you'll smash the rest of the audience too. So you don't have any problem with negative attention. You no. like attention. That's not that's what the Full business stop. we're in. Full stop. It's the business we're in. No, but it's not. But it's not true. It is true. So I, anyway, I think a lot of the things that you do is for. I don't know. I think it. I. I, th I think it's like wrapped up in addiction and attention. But whatever. I wish I was. I wish I was. I wish that I wasn't so critical when so we go so. out and I, and you're wearing all the rings and you're doing the things that you do and you're ordering the way that you order. And well, I wish so, I could just be like, I love the guy. What can I say? Did I? But was, I can. I go. Oh God, here we go. Did I? Was I mean to the waitress last night? You're when she never me? mean to the waitress, but you've never been a waiter, so you sometimes don't understand the situation last night was not without incident last night what was the incident the incident was you were ordering a chicken caesar wrap with a side of caesar yeah then you decided i said do you realize that you ordered chicken caesar salad yes. in your wrap and caesar salad and you you go huh yeah, I wonder if I could have gotten soup. So she comes back. You go, could I get soup for my side? She goes, no, it's not one of the options. And you said, what would happen <laughs> if I got soup? Well, she and said she said, like, I would get you shot. would pay for it. Yeah. Is basically what she said. She said, you get soup anytime. 
You're not going to get it as your side. Yeah. There was no, she was kind of like, I think she wanted to go home too. It was kind of late. We went there a little late and I, I ordered blackened okay, yeah. chicken Caesar uh, wrap, a blackened chicken Caesar. And she brought me grilled chicken, which was fine. And I didn't say anything, you know, but it's not what I ordered. You go out to eat. You want you want your food the way you want it. You don't have to clean up. That's why you go out to eat. You don't have to cook, and you just want what you order. That's all. And she brought the exact opposite, and I just said, "Well, this is good, good enough." Well, he said to me, "Should I?" He was halfway done eating it, and he well, literally was, just finished one half, and he said, "I'm going to eat this." I was, but joking. should I tell her? No, you weren't joking. Oh, yeah. Should I tell her that? And I said, what's the point? Yeah, and I didn't do it. Right, but you wanted to because you wanted to let her know. She fucked up. That you, you, Richard Voss, did not get what what I wanted. Yes or no, was she the most pleasant server? No, she was Rich Voss in a female waitress form. One million percent. Oh, really? You're saying that's that's how that's your attitude. You're that's completely what. If you want to know what other people perceive you as, there it is, right there. Not true. One million percent. A lot of people see me. Kind of. She wasn't mean when you when she said you'd pay for it. You guys both had a laugh. It wasn't like she was. She just was like, I'm not playing. I'm going to get you what you what, what, you know, if you would have said, hey, I ordered the, she would have said, what do you want me to do about it now? You should have told me at the beginning. Right? Well, she was nowhere to be found. It didn't matter. What would you have done as a waitress if somebody had eaten half their food and then said, well, if they, if they, I ordered eaten, the black, I, what would you have done? Because I'm telling you, that's exactly what she would have done. Because you guys, I even said to you sitting there, I go, these are people. You think you're better this is, than this is you think you're better. I don't than think people. I'm better than people. Yeah. I really don't. You do. You but act. Have, but it's like I come from another country, which no one can ever understand. So I see a difference in the way people act. Are we better? No. Uh, one time we went on a, um, we were trying to get on a flight, and there was all these Canadians this from Canada. The flight, the, 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 the flight was canceled. They were going on a cruise. They were. They all just fully accepted immediately. Oh, I guess we'll miss our cruise, and that was that. And we fought and got on another flight. And it's like, okay, I I don't think we're better. There's a lot of things that we do that we you know, we should we should. We're more aggressive. Yeah, but when I see, especially like a new there's. You, I now realize this is New Jersey. And then when I see it in other New Jersey people, I go, oh, it makes more sense of who you are. I go, oh, okay, that's, he's been living in this New Jersey bubble his entire life. He's not going to change. He's not going to suddenly go to fucking Norway and be like, oh, well, now I see a different way to live and a different way to like, oh, I can clear my brain and think of things differently. No. You think I because would... you get along very, very well with people who are exactly like you. you. You see it in them, you smell it in them, and all of a sudden you're talking to them. <laughs> think... And a lot of times they're black men your age. I don't know why. You you always are just so attracted. Well, like magnets. That's who I grew up with. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you guys speak the same language. You both look at each other and you go, boop, boop, boop. You just start. And you guys... I've I've seen it many many times, and 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 black women of your age as well. I've seen it, where you're talking to the the, the language just is it flows, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, I'm Canadian. You think if I were moved to Norway, I'd be too aggressive for Norwegians? Well, when we were in, um, where were we? I don't know. A lot of places we've been to. Um. We went to a festival there. Oh, Amsterdam? Amsterdam. They loved you, right? Who, they, the audience? The audience yeah. was really, they could not get enough of you. And 
do you know why? <laughs> I was funny in doing. You're all. funny, but do you know why also? Because I was what they, I was what they. Uh, I think they Americans. thought you were doing a very smart caricature of an American. I don't think for one second they thought that was really you. I think they thought it's like Ricky Gervais from The Office, like no. doing a very smart character. No. Yeah, because they could not believe everything you said was exactly as they imagined Americans to be. <laughs> I, listen, that was fun. I remember in Canada, I thought the indigenous people were Chinese. When we were at yes, Edmonton. Yes, that was. Where I'll be New Year's I wouldn't, Eve. I wouldn't be bringing that up in light of. Well, speaking of indigenous people, we're watching Horizon. Yeah. Uh, it's Kevin pretty Costner's good. Kevin Costner's movie. He's good. I, he, it's good. By the way. It's good. It's a diversion. <laughs> no, we're moving on. Yeah. By the way, it's called moving on to right. the next topic right. before right. we wrap it up. Speaking of indigenous people, Horizon. Yes, Horizon. Uh, not bad. What's your thoughts? You Give me your thoughts. I think it's good. It's just, it's, it's. It's a TV like, show tedious a bit um it's good it's it's good in the beginning but the characters you don't really know who they are what there's going on there's big around spaces in between their storylines and so it does feel like a very big tv show well it bounces around so much yeah it's so it's not from, like it's not i don't know you finished it i couldn't i had to go to bed i was too tired yeah, just, did they, it finish on a like well no they satisfying finished, note they finished like, on a major montage of all the stuff bouncing back and oh, forth so and, yeah so it, it feels very tv-ish but you know it it is definitely like you will watch it to the end it does hold your attention you know uh it's uh not like this podcast anyway thanks for watching everybody oh, oh my god you, well you were like i saw you starting to get into like it's like you're falling asleep it's like oh, oh he's I having just, another stroke folks it's like a tv show you know so come on speed it up well let's to wrap it up we had a great time thank you <laughs> tim dylan for inviting us to your party we enjoyed it we loved your house we loved the food we loved the people uh we loved the traffic and it, the weather was absolutely perfect because it wasn't too hot it was really nice it was nice uh and well i don't want to talk about it but he showed us something on video that was very funny. So good. Well, he's luck. got a special coming out on Netflix. It's oh. it's it's. We saw the preview for it. And it very was funny. Amazing. He's so funny. He's he's good at crowd work. He's, he's very I, very funny. But very I quick. I haven't seen him do stand up in years. You know what I mean? Well, he's had a special on Netflix. You can watch. He did. Maybe two years ago. Yeah. Oh, I don't watch specials, but that's nice. In the club, I watched him once a little bit. He was killing. So very likable. Very likable. Your party was likable. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, here we go again. Listen, I go to richfoss.com. I'm coming up. I have Chicago, Michigan, whatever, and then I have the stress factory. The whatever. Whatever. It's all on the website. I can't remember. That's the mystery bag. Mystery bag of uh, gigs. Oh, I missed. Oh. I missed. Yeah. Stress factory in October. Uh, Let us know your thoughts on the uh, license plate in the front window. So you don't does the grill. that scream well, white okay. trash no. or not? Go look at an IS three fifty. Okay, is it not? Yeah, IS three fifty Sport. Look at the grill and tell me where you would put a license plate on this. Definitely grill. not the window. IS three fifty Sport. Not the window. I'm going to guess. Put it on the grill. No, yeah. you wouldn't. You wouldn't ruin the grill. Or don't have a front license plate. People Maybe. don't. Maybe. Oh, they don't? Right. No. Oh, okay. Well, listen. You learned a lot. We've taught a lot. We've learned a lot. Goodbye. Peace out. La, 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 My Wife Hates Me podcast, hosted and created by Rich Foss 
and Bonnie McFarlane. Produced by Nick Collette. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This jackass Jew. Some people say that opposites attract, but this seems more like a suicide pact. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bomb and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.